Hello, I am making this video just for our advertising purposes. We are selling our home in Maple Run Mobile Home Park. It is a very quiet community. We actually like it here a lot. We have never had any issues. And in the summertime, I know right now everything's dead. You can see in the pictures on our page, the garden, everything looks amazing. The home itself is 2,100 square foot. It has a very large shed. The shed is technically two-story, I guess, because it's got a loft on the back, on the top of it. The driveway easily fits three cars. As you can see, in the corner there, we have a camera. All four sides of the house are covered by cameras. Those will come with the house. And one reason why I love this lot and I wanted to showcase and come back here is this location here. Only this street has access like this behind them. The rest have fencing, neighbors, whatever. There's a garden club that goes on there. There's the pool right there, the playground, the basketball court, there's a gym. We ride our mini bike back there to that dirt road and just go up and down and have a blast. You're not responsible for mowing that field or anything. You just get access to it. You can also have fires here. You can even chip golf balls as long as you know, you're careful because there's not much traffic. And just all around, I think it's one of the better locations. Also, I'd like to note, you see it's got that brick skirting. Most of the houses here have that. I don't think I've seen one with regular trailer skirting. If they don't have that, they have actual siding going down. You don't normally see that in a lot of these mobile home parks. And that's one of the reasons I like it here. It's one of only two nice parks in Clio. The other one's a 55 and up one. All right, so inside, there's the camera system that I just pointed out outside that will come with the home. It's got the DVR and everything. You can format it, replace it. Those cameras are pretty much universal. This is our living room. It's got a very, I like the paint job, unique look to it. It's a very large space. Behind me is what used to be the um, dining area, but I built a wall and made it a room. That's one of the things I had in the listing that needed mud. It's a smaller room. It's a little messy because of my daughter. That's the one room, like I said. The goal was when you walk through here, you come into my daughter's room, which is probably messy, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a very large room. That used to be the shared space with her sister right here, which could be an officer den because this is the master bedroom with bathroom, but it is its own sectioned off living area and space to use however you see fit for this very large room with, a very large walk-in closet. Now again, this is just a quick walkthrough. That's where I was gonna build a wall and have access from that other room to come in to make that little space there its own closet. That's the extra drywall materials, everything that's come at the house. I have more in the um, shed. I have linoleum trim, everything. This is the bathroom. I know a carpet in the bathroom, but that tub does work. The jets come on, everything functions. Works amazing. His and her sinks, standing shower, all the shower. Now we have the dining room. Dining and kitchen area, like I said, just had the flooring done, you can read in the end. We stained these cupboards. This is the only spot that needs painted. You need to paint, we were gonna paint it a dark gray with a light gray splash to max the paneling on the accent wall that we had done. And then that would have been it in here. The paneling in the dining room area and the barn door, all new, all recently done. Behind the barn door is another room. This used to be a wide open space in the living room. We've been using it as a bedroom. You can do the same. You can put it at den, a gym, however you would like. Which brings us to the hallway that I built. One of the last spots that needs, you know, for this wall I built, once again, sanded by painted. All new linoleum. Then we have this area here. There's the bathroom. It's a bathroom like any other. Here's my daughter's room. Another room that was original to the house is a closet. And then there's my uh, son's room. If you'll notice some of the doors, they look like they're like peeling, if you would. Um, it's cause they put that stupid paper on there. All of the doors had it originally and we've just been slowly pulling it off. It just pulls right off and then you paint the door like a normal freaking person. And perfect example would be this door. It looks the same way and then we peeled it off and painted it. That's why in the end it says the home just needs paint, mud, and sanding. And if you come through here, that's the laundry room. It's just the utility area. There's a washer and dryer. They were both bought last year. 
All right, so there's the house. You know, there's no major flaws. There's no major issues. I do HVAC for a living. I've kept up on the furnace, the AC. The water heater was just replaced in February. The washer and dryer, like I said, are less than a year old. They're gonna come with the house. The extra fridge back there, because we have so many kids. If you want, it can come with the house. The fridge, the stove, the dishwasher, they come with the house. The security cameras, the snow blower, the snow shovel, all come with the house. Heck, I've got a carpet shampooer from when I was gonna try and save the carpet in the hallway instead of just replacing it. It's barely been used. That comes with the house. We just wanna get to a warmer climate, hopefully. So, you know, if you're interested, like I said, jump on their website. Their cheapest one they got is a $45,000 single wide. Mobile homes are like that everywhere right now. That's why we were gonna remodel it and ask for more money. But it's one of only two, like I've already said, in the whole town of Cloud. They're good schools. A lot of people are moving here. The other one's 55 and up. So this is a great opportunity for someone to buy a house and not spend over $1,000 a month living it. Especially if you have a lot of kids, there's a lot of room and space. Or if you work from home, there's room for an office, a gym, whatever your deal is. If you wanna pull it out and put it on land, that was our original plan because if you look it up, there's a lot of mobile homes that once they got on land somehow became worth $230,000 or some crap, which is insane to me, but it is an option. We have the paperwork to show it can be pulled out. Anything at all, just reach out and ask. Thank you for your time.